Organizing your entire house can be daunting. Many homeowners who have accumulated a lot of things throughout the years do not even know where to start. Facing this challenge does not happen overnight and should be done a little at a time. Welcome to Jansen's DIY, and here are 25 sneaky ways to organize your entire house. 1. Kitchen Counters Let's get rid of as much clutter as possible on our kitchen counters. If you have packaged food, hide them away in the pantry. Put away dishes inside dish cabinets and wipe counters meticulously. Don't forget to scrub the sink thoroughly after use. 2. Kitchen Drawers There are many useless tools hidden inside our kitchen drawers, so you need to get rid of the clutter. Empty your drawers and sort out all items by category. If there are broken or duplicate items, they should be removed. You could also organize the items using dividers and trays. 3. Kitchen Cabinets If there is a lack of space in your kitchen cabinet, there's a way to arrange the space to make everything neat and orderly. Place a painted pegboard on the cabinet wall. This is available at hardware stores. Loop in metal hooks in order to neatly display the most used tools in one place. 4. Grocery List Having an organized grocery list will lessen the hassle of creating a new one each time you need to go to the store. With an organized list, you will breeze through your shopping and save a lot of time. Here's how to do it. First, save old receipts and type up a master list of items that are most often bought. Next, group these items according to where they are in the store. Print out the list and post it in the kitchen, and then put a mark next to items that have run out. 5. Storage Containers Mismatched storage containers can be a big hassle. Here is a way to fix this and declutter your storage space. Empty the cabinet and match each container lid to its respective base. If there's one container without a mate, consider recycling and repurposing it. For larger containers that don't have a cover, consider using it to hold other lids. 6. Refrigerator If you've taken on the daunting task of organizing your fridge, then you should know how to store your food in the proper place. Here are several factors to take into account when you reorganize your fridge. First, remove and discard old half-eaten leftovers, past its peak produce, and expired condiments. Reserve the door for items that can handle warmer conditions, such as juice, soda, butter, water, and cooking oils. The crisper drawers are meant for produce. Know what kinds of food don't belong in the fridge, such as bananas, coffee, garlic, onions, and potatoes. Create a list of what you need to replace and post it on the refrigerator door so that you know what to shop for next time. 7. Toys Do you have a headache from your kids' toys? Try these smart ideas to organize them. Instead of having a coffee table, swap it for a lidded ottoman or a steamer trunk, which are perfect for holding blocks and other toys. Use a translucent tear drawer system or store-bought tiered tubs to store Legos. Utilize garden hanging baskets for storing stuffed animals. And last, use a magnetic knife rack to stick the little cars on the rack when they're done playing with them. 8. Homework Station It's important for your kid's homework station to be organized. Fill a clear plastic bin with school supplies, such as pencils and rulers, so your kid won't waste precious time looking for supplies every day. When homework time is done, everything gets returned to the bin, and they're ready to fix their backpacks for the next school day. 9. Playroom It's not an easy task to make children pack away their toys, so here are some nifty tricks to get your kids to put away their stuff. Treat picking up toys as a fun game with your kids by using the kids' wild imagination to your advantage. Toss a hula hoop in the middle of their clutter and challenge your kids to pick up everything inside the ring and return the item to its proper place. Sing a fun cleanup song and have designated bins or containers for your children's toys, books, and blocks. 10. Behind the TV 
Stop guessing which cord on your power strip goes with what by following these suggestions in keeping it neat and tidy. Save the plastic bags from supermarket bread loaves and then clip each tag around the corresponding cord. If possible, use color-coded tags for easy identification. You could also hide excess cords in a cord organizer, which is available in any hardware store. 11. Clothes Organizing your clothes can be challenging, but following these tips will help you solve this common household problem. First thing to do is to take every item in your closet and dresser. After you've done that, place all clothing items in either one of these three piles. Keep, alter, or donate, and then do it accordingly. 12. Shoes Shoes can be tricky to store. Follow these smart and practical tips to organize your footwear. Go through all your shoes and sort them according to what you regularly wear and what you use for special occasions. You can also sort by seasons. Discard shoes that are worn out or beyond repair. Count the pairs that you're keeping in order to help you decide what type of organizer you need. One way of organizing shoes is doing it heel to toe in order to maximize space. This kind of arrangement also gives you a quick survey of color, toe style, and heel height. 13. Closet If you have a cluttered closet, then following these tips will help you getting dressed faster and easier. First, take all your tried and tested outfits and hang them together. Put together your shirts, pants, and accessories. Use the space on the wall to hang scarves, belts, and other accessories. And lastly, use shelf dividers to create a top shelf. 14. Bathroom Organizing your bathroom space can save you time and money, so here's a few tips to help you. Each family member should have an assigned color, and each person's toothbrush, towel, laundry hamper, and sheets should be coordinated with the designated shade. If you have a lack of space, use the inside of cabinet doors for storage. Over-the-door organizers can hold items, such as hairstyling products or shaving creams. Add hooks, since they are ideal to hang face towels and cleaning cloths. Have a color-coded caddy filled with personal care items for each member of the family. 15. Makeup Makeup products can take up a lot of space in the bathroom, and even in your cosmetics bag. So here are some things you can do to organize your makeup. 1. Throw out expired items and items that you don't need. 2. Arrange what's left in the order of your daily routine. For instance, facial wash should be beside the moisturizer. 16. Garage Your garage doesn't have to be dingy and dirty. Trade your dingy garage decor into something bright and cheerful. Use hooks and wire baskets to keep supplies and tools off the floor. 17. Under the stairs This is an often neglected part of the house. However, with proper shelving and storage, this could easily transform into a functional area. Install custom shelving with baskets for each family member. You could also add cabinets and a countertop to transform it into a butler's pantry or a mini bar. 18. Bookshelves If your personal library needs decluttering, here are some ways to do it. Edit the selection in your personal library. Categorize them into two piles, one to keep and the other for giving away. Return the books to the shelves. There are several ways of ordering your books on the shelf by genre, by height, or by color. Ordering by height and color will give it a less cluttered and more cohesive look. 19. Post-it Pocket Post-it pocket is usually used as a catch-all or multi-use drawer. Fix your drawer so that you can easily find things just when you need them the most, things like dry cleaner tickets and takeout menus. First, take everything out and throw away things you don't need. Get post-it pockets. Post-it pockets stick on the inside of cabinet doors and drawer bottoms. Sort everything into various categories and file them in the post-it pockets. And don't forget that categories could be any of the following. Coupon holder, recipe sorter, or loose change. 20. 
linen closet. The linen closet could use a little bit of an update every now and then. Here are some ways to do it. Each towel, washcloth, and sheet set should be carefully inspected for stains, general wear and tear, and rips. Worn out pieces should be set aside to be repurposed as cleaning rags or to give to a local animal shelter. Every item in the closet should be refolded to a similar size for a unified look before putting away. 21. Mailbox Mailboxes have a tendency to get cluttered. Here are some ways to prevent it. Catalog pileup can be prevented. Log into 41pounds.org and check out how this can be done. 22. Magazines Old magazines can make your living space untidy. Here are some practical ways to prevent magazine clutter in your home. Using a shopping bag, walk through your home and pick up already enjoyed magazines. Clip useful articles, recipes, and other interesting write-ups that you want to keep. Recycle any magazine or periodical that's older than two months. 23. Purse it's really tempting to make your purse a dumping ground for all sorts of things, but you should organize it regularly to prevent it from being filled with trash and other unnecessary objects. Dump out the contents of your purse. Weed through the contents, throw out the things you don't need. Pile up whatever needs immediate attention, such as a check to be deposited. 24. Phone Nowadays, organizing your phone should also be a priority. Unless you have a huge storage space, it is vital to periodically sort through your photos and videos. Quickly sort through your phone's photos and videos to delete blurry or bad shots and even multiple shots. Organize your photos in albums in order to easily track them when you need them. 25. Wallet Organize your wallet with these simple but brilliant ideas. Save receipts using an app called Shoeboxed. It lets you take pictures of your receipts and forward email them to your account. Remove unnecessary items such as business cards. Just store the contact information on your phone. The most accessible card holders in your wallet should contain your most used cards. And that's all for now. For more DIY and organizing ideas, stay tuned to our channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next episodes.